Ladies and gentlemen, my name is MJ Akwe, aka the tremendous MT. Do you know what they say? They say you make something and in Africa they will make it better. Did you know that these kids from this unknown part of Africa, I guess Nigeria or Ghana, judging from the environment, they made the movie Wakanda forever. Watch the following part of the video. Stay connected, stay tremendous. Make sure to like and subscribe. I accept. Thank you. I accept your challenge, Mbaku. Glory to Hanuman. Let the challenge begin. I accept the challenge, Mbaku. Then Mbaku. Glory to Hanuman. I like the way Mbaku speaks. Now come. I really like that Nigerian accent. If it's a Nigerian accent, I'm not sure, but I think that is a Nigerian accent. I really like it. Okay, so coming from Tishala. Tishala is the one that I thought he was a main character on the movie. <laughs> what am I talking about? This is not about the movie. It's about these kids, African kids, that they remade the movie. It is really good. I see the talent. They are very talented and the, i like the fact that if you're watching this both movie the original movie and the remake and you, your eyes will just focus on the remake of the movie wow this is one of the things i like about the, the movie you see but i don't think that the kids really got the, the acknowledgement which they deserve because i have uh reached uh, in their channel and i checked there uh they are not well acknowledged people guys you should check those kids see the talent in africa i mean this is not what i expected this is a it's a it's a talent it's um i don't know it's unbelievable it's incredulous you see so you should really check check how they make this movie and they make them very unsophisticated they are very simple they are very simple alluring and resplendent you see encourage they encourage you see so i really like the way their characters they do things and they make things easy and understandable the king is dead the black panther is gone the black panther is gone they have lost the protector they have lost their protector Dang it, man. I really like the way the Queen, Queen Ramonda speak. She is very courageous. She doesn't care of anyone. She is not suffering from inferiority complexes. I mean, other people from Africa, when they come from Africa and go to those Western countries, they, they will suffer from low self-esteem, inferiority complexes. I really like the way the, 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 the Africanity is represented in that movie. Their Queen Ramonda really represented well. I'm really sorry and sad that she died from the movie. I was looking forward to seeing her and stuff. You see, Kumkani. Wow. And the way she always tried to, pro to protect her little queen. Wow. Shuri. She always very, she's a very protective mother, by the way. I really like her. And when those intruders, they came and broke. And broke in and they were like... This movie is good, guys. Anega, where is your spear? Anega, where is your spear? Should he get me this surprise? And I also think that is a Nigerian accent, by the way. I like, I like them better. Our four mothers gave us this spear because it is precise. I really like the way Anega is. I mean, she's like a little baby. It will not change. I told you not to bring them. I told you not to bring them. And also, one of the interesting facts about the movie Wakanda Forever Black Panther is that 
there is a very conglomeration of the characters around the world. In Africa, mostly, I really like that. Even in South Africa, in Zimbabwe. Did you know that Akoye, the warrior with the badge, she's from Zimbabwe, just a country neighboring South Africa. She's from there. And I know her, the zombie service, the walking dead. She's a warrior there, and she fights with spear. You see, one of the interesting facts is that the language that is spoken there in the Wakanda, it's a really language from South Africa. It's a Kosa language, and the language of Nelson Mandela. Kumkanikos. And that means my queen in Kosa. You see, that is a real language, but the way they speak there, they are not fluent. You know, those are not native Kosas, you see, so they cannot master the language. You see, and they like the way they, they, they feature and they include things. They didn't omit African, African culture and heritage or what, identity and stuff. You, you will see, notice there, the, the Botswana, the, the Soto attire or something like that. Those blankets and the, those hats that they are sharp and stuff. They really included, they represented African, uh, African culture and stuff. And the, the other attire, you will notice this is from Nigeria and stuff. I really like the movie. It really represents African. And also I really like uh, Mbaku. He has the Nigerian accent. By the way, if you don't know that, I really like Nigerian accent. I really like it. Hey, Chineke, Chineke, Tofia. And that means, God forbid. Yeah. I want problems always. <laughs> Mbaku is a very courageous man. Glory. Glory to Hanuman. Hey everyone, please drop your comment down below. Tell me what is your favorite part in the movie Wakanda. What do you like most? Who is your favorite character? If you like the movie, the Wakanda movie, or you like the kids that made the Wakanda movie, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below the thoughts. Stay safe and be tremendous.